What's good, y'all? Javor Ross back at it again with another video. So we just finished doing our live stream reactions for Monday Night Raw, the first Monday Night Raw of 2024. Shout out to everyone that was a part of the stream. We had a great time. And uh, we got to talk about, obviously, the most noticeable thing that happened on Monday Night Raw. And we got to give a special shout out to Triple H because Triple H announced on Twitter that a former WWE champion was going to be on the show. And I love what he did here to set this up. A lot of people were speculating maybe it was going to be Big E that returns. You know, a lot of people were even speculating that maybe it would be, you know, maybe like a Brock Lesnar or somebody else, you know. And there were even rumors. There was rumors of it potentially being The Rock. Because he was uh, there, um, I think they were uh, he, they weren't too far from where the Rose Bowl was taking place, so he was in the general vicinity. There was rumors of that, but no one knew. And shout out to the person that was in the chat. One of the people that he guessed that would be someone that would uh, potentially uh, show up to the show as a, the surprise guest was Jinder Mahal. And as they're about to announce who's gonna come out or whatever they're waiting for their music to hit they come back from a commercial break see the crowd everybody with their phones out gender mahal music hits and you just see people just put their phones down you see people rolling their eyes you see people sighing and i love this i gotta give a special shout out to triple h because that was a good troll i love that that was funny because no one cared Yes, Jinder Mahal, unfortunately, was a former WWE champion and one of the worst WWE champions of all time. That's just my personal opinion, but <clears throat> unforgettable title reign. And so people just didn't care. Just booing him. They were hitting him with the what chance. But we knew, obviously, someone else was going to come out. And he's doing his typical heel stuff like, I'm disappointed in you Americans. You Americans are not even, you know, together. You know, the typical anti-USA stuff that, you know, you've seen a million times in certain foreign heels and stuff like that. And I was like, all right, cool. Who's going to come out there to interrupt? Now, once again, there were rumors that Rock was supposed to show up because he was in the general vicinity, but I didn't really buy into it. I, if anything, I was thinking more so like maybe Kofi, not Kofi, uh, Big E return. I think that would have been cool, right? Then you hear, if you smell, you hear the music. Me and Dub lose our shit. The crowd loses their shit. It was a cool moment. The Rock returns to Monday Night Raw and the crowd goes insane. He gets out there. You know, he's he's talking down to Jinder Mahal. He's making his jokes. It was it was a cool vibe. He even did um what he kind of did when he was um, when he returned to SmackDown last year, where one crowd would chant uh uh day one, like one side of the crowd would chant day one, the other side of the crowd would chant douchebag. The crowd was into it. They were electric, they were doing a day one douchebag chants loud they didn't bleep it out all the curse words that the rock was saying to him they didn't bleep none of those out at all which was actually kind of refreshing but once again he's the rock he can get away with that stuff so at this point you you know what's coming you know the beats are coming you know he rock even got into his singing bag seeing like a rendition of the star Spang uh, spangled banner talking about whooping uh jinder mahal's ass they start fighting and brawling. Uh, he ends up getting the, the upper hand. He hits him with the people's elbow. Uh, would have would have been nice to see the rock bottom, but that's okay. He hit him with the people's elbow. Crowd's going crazy. It was a cool little segment. You know, he's going to beat up on the, the resident heel, and, you know, crowd's going to have a good time from that. All right, cool. He picks up the microphone. I'm thinking, all right, that's about, it, about to be it. But then he starts giving a little bit extra to the promo. He's like, you know what? I done worked up an appetite. I'm going to go get me something to eat. I think he's about to talk about some poon tang pie, if you know what I mean. But no, he was talking about, I'm, I'm really hungry. I want some real food. 
He's like, I may go to a bar, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you know, go out to a bar, restaurant, whatever. I may, I may want to sit at a booth or whatnot. Or maybe I want to sit at a bar. And then it, it, it clicked. I was like, wait a minute. And you can feel people starting to rumble. You can feel the excitement because you knew exactly what he was going to say next. And this was actually a pretty cool moment. He said, oh, maybe, just maybe, I can sit at the head of the table. And the crowd went crazy. Me and Dub went crazy because he finally has said it. He wants to sit at the head of the table. He's talking directly to Roman Reigns. And oh my goodness, the crowd went crazy. You know, crowd was like, uh, you know, he's asking the crowd, where should he sit at? And the crowd obviously said at the head of the table. He's like, all right, I guess I'm sitting at the head of the table then. And uh, he, you know, does his, his, his normal thing. And the crowd is electric from that. And he is caused now so much confusion and uncertainty of what's going to really play out at WrestleMania this year. A lot of people in the chat were saying, rest in peace to Cody's story. And I don't know. Because the real question becomes, what happens now? The Rock has put it out there that he wants, he's he made it public, he wants to go out the Roman Reigns. Okay, cool. He wants to go out the Roman Reigns. Does that happen at Elimination Chamber? Does that happen at the Elimination Chamber? It's going to be in Australia in a big stadium venue. I think the venue holds up to potentially 65,000 people. So it could happen there. Or does this match happen at WrestleMania, which a lot of people feel like this is a main event worthy match. A first time ever. And it'll probably be the last time ever we see these guys go at it in a ring to see who's really at the top of the table, the head of the table in the family. Do we have that match then? That's, that's a very interesting question. And I, I honestly, I would want to see the match, but I also want Cody to be able to get his opportunity that he deserves to finish the damn story. Is there a situation where maybe the rock and Roman happens at elimination chamber? And that can happen. I do think that venue and that event will be big enough. It'll probably be one of the biggest elimination chambers of all time. And I think the crowd will go crazy. But I just also think that that match should be maybe reserved for WrestleMania. Then you got to ask yourself if Cody loses the Royal Rumble, which I do expect that to happen, but he enters in the elimination chamber and he wins, then what? Because we all know that The Rock, he's definitely, if he wants to have a match with Roman Reigns, I don't, I don't even see them putting him in a situation where he would have to like fight his way to get that opportunity. He's, he's that big of a star that you're going to make that happen regardless. You feel me? So if you do have that happen and The Rock has made it very clear he wants to face Roman Reigns, do we have a triple threat match? If Cody wins the Elimination Chamber, and I don't think that needs to happen because I do think Cody needs his one-on-one, and I do think The Rock and Roman needs their only their one-on-one. So I don't know. I legit have no idea even more how this plays out. Now that The Rock has pretty much made it clear that he wants to face Roman Reigns, there's only two other options that it could happen. I don't see it happening at the Royal Rumble. I think he's already locked in for that. But Elimination Chamber and WrestleMania, that's it. That's the only options I can see that legitimately happening. And more so WrestleMania because that's just a very big match. Which leads me to believe if, well, if Cody does win the Elimination Chamber, what do you do? Because you add him to that match, I, it doesn't need to be a triple threat. I just think that match is big enough without it being a triple threat on either side, whether it's Cody or Roman or Roman versus the rock doesn't need anyone else being added into it. I don't know. I don't know what you do unless you pull, pull the match early and have it happen at elimination chamber between the rock and Roman. I think it'll be great, but we kind of know that 
either way, if The Rock is facing Roman, he's not losing. And if The Rock faces him at the at WrestleMania, he's probably not going to lose, which means Roman's probably going to potentially hold that title until he beats Hulk Hogan's record. And he would have to hold it all the way to damn near September to beat Hulk Hogan's record. So there's a lot of implications here. We don't know. This is what makes things so exciting. I'm not going to lie to you. Triple H did a pretty good job on tonight's show, and he has people talking on the very first episode of Monday Night Raw. He has people talking because we don't know. But one thing we do know for sure, The Rock and Roman, that is on the way. Whether it happens at Elimination Chamber or whether it happens at WrestleMania, I'm for it. I'm here for it. It's the biggest match you can possibly put on, and I'm here for it. Comment down below. Let me know. Where do y'all think the story is going to go? Do you think Cody's story is done? Do you think that it's, it's going to happen at the Elimination Chamber between Roman and The Rock? Or do you feel like that match is going to happen at this year's WrestleMania? Or do you think it's going to be a triple threat match with Cody being inserted? What's going to happen here? How do you think things are going to play out? And are you guys just as excited as I am about this WrestleMania season? Because boy, oh boy, they have options for days and i love it comment down below let me know what you guys think is gonna happen appreciate all the love and support guys shown on the channel road to 150k and i'm still getting speedy youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace